Hello, hello everybody. How's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. I had an aggravating day at work today, I'm telling you. Very aggravating. Um, you already know by the title of this video, this is a Dollar Tree haul. I was happy to find a couple of new things, but more importantly, I was happy to find more of this got to be glued glam force hairspray again they had three cans i bought all three so now i have six and i will continue to get it as many times as i see it i sprayed it on this wig this morning and let me tell you something it held the style normally this wig i've been wearing it now for almost two weeks normally i i constantly have to style it hair be sticking up but it held the style all day long, okay, from 8 o'clock this morning, and it's after 5 p.m. now, um, it held the style. So, if you're in Dollar Tree and you see that hairspray, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Um, they did have some new wall art. Now, these signs are some hard plastic signs, and they had various ones. I'm going to attach a clip at the end of this video of the other ones, but you guys know that's been rocking with me for a while. When I did the little spruce up of the kitchen, I have like the farmhouse theme, so I thought this was going to be really cute to hang up. Not that I know where I'm going to put it, but I bought it. Um, it says eggs, milk, and bacon. I thought this was really, really cute. Okay, sorry about the glare, y'all. I got the selfie light on. Then, um, something that I need to remind myself to do. I thought this was cute. It says, focus on the good. Okay, and it has a picture of a camera. So, just stay focused. Focused on the good. Don't think about the bad. Easier said than done, okay? Um, they did have... Mo um, the mousse, the got to be glued volumizing mousse, but I have three cans. I don't know how I'm going to like it. I really probably should have jumped on it, but it is what it is. Um, something that, you know, I'm getting a little bit older. I know you guys who go to Dollar Tree on a regular basis know they sell the readers, okay? Those are those glasses you don't need a prescription for. Well, I've never seen these before. You get two pair for a dollar. And this is like the Animal Instinct. They did have the glam ones that had some rhinestones on the side. And you would think I would have jumped on the glam ones, but I kind of like these better. Um, I did my own little self-eye exam. It tells you on the back. <laughs> um, it has <laughs> it has three lines. And it tells you to hold the, the package 14 feet from your face. And if you can't read this line clearly, this is blah, blah, blah. So I'm starting with the plus 150. Okay. And I'm going to drive home with a pair of these on tonight. Hopefully this video gets uploaded and, you know, I see clearly. Okay. But this is a good buy. Okay. I think I've seen up to strength two plus 250, I think. I don't know. Um, now Dollar Tree knows good and damn well that I'm going on vacation next month. Okay. Mentally, I could get on the plane right now. Physically, I need six months of <laughs> vigorous aerobic activities, but I don't have that kind of time. Okay. Why the hell did Dollar Tree and the name of this company is called the Snack Factory. Okay. So you already know they are keeping people fat all across the United States, okay? Let's see if it was made in the U.S. Who knows? Anyway, these are pretzel crisps, okay? So what's so important about pretzel crisps? Well, they have the nerve to dip them in white chocolate. And Dollar Tree, I know I may not have told the Dollar Tree gods this, but I love white chocolate. And they may have the nerve to sprinkle it with peppermint candy you know what dollar tree y'all should be ashamed of yourself i only bought one bag okay i can't stand y'all you know <sighs> whatever i'll let you know how it tastes 
Okay, so they don't have my boom chicka pop, at least not at this location. And somebody did something horrible. The other day when I did a Dollar Tree haul, I think it was Sunday, I got excited. I seen the bag. Well, I go over to the bag. The bag was empty. Somebody opened it up in the store and ate the popcorn. How cruel can you be? So I, I haven't found any more Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. Somebody who I chat with off of YouTube told me now they sell it in the uh, popper bags. I just haven't made it to the supermarket. And you know what? I really, that's one story y'all don't hear me talk about. I'm going to grocery shop. That's one thing. Mr. Fuller does more food shopping than me. Um, I hate the supermarket. Um, but anyway, this is pretty good. If you like kettle corn, the pop weaver kettle corn, and they've always had this. So if you, if you want to try kettle corn and you don't know what I'm talking about, it's kind of like sweet and salty. Um, and the pop weaver, weaver isn't bad. I needed some more fabric softener. Okay. I know I probably can get a big bottle for $2 and 50 cents at Walmart. I know, but I get it from Dollar Tree. All right. That's just, that's just what it is. And something I wanted to show you guys, I don't know what got into me yesterday, but I became a cleaning machine. I cleaned the bathroom and I, I um, a week or two ago, I had bought a new, you know, tub mat. I bought new shower curtains because um, I like to switch up, you know, every two months, you know, whatever. Or maybe, yeah, like every two months. Anyway, um, so I cleaned my bathroom or whatever, changed the toilet seat and everything. I mean, I just was just like the laundry queen. I was a maid, I cooked, I don't know, had all this energy. But I want to tell you guys this. The worst part of cleaning a bathroom for me, some people might say, oh, I hate to clean the toilet. Toilet don't bother me, okay? Sink don't bother me, mirrors don't bother me, floor don't bother me. I hate the tub. And what I bought, and I don't know if you guys seen the at home, uh, as seen on TV, this thing that you charge and it cleans the tub or, or can clean the floor, come with interchangeable heads, whatever. Well, that was a lifesaver for me. But let me tell you something. If you guys tried this comet, okay, what is it called? Foaming bleach bathroom cleaner. Let me tell you something. Spray your tub. Spray your tub. And my tub needed to be clean. Spray your tub and leave liberally you know make sure you spray it good just leave go do something else go watch tv have a snack when you come back the grime and whatever else won't be there no more and i'm telling you my tub look brand new okay and i also have that brush okay it's rechargeable um I take a picture of it and put it. I put a post up about it. But I love this thing, and I was able to get it brand new for twenty dollars. They're selling it on TV. You know, everything is thirty nine ninety nine. You know, when you see those at or at TV stuff. So I got it for twenty. And let me tell you something. It makes cleaning the tub if you're elderly, if you have a problem getting down on the floor and you can't scrub, this makes it easier. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys if you see this in Dollar Tree get it and like i said spray your tub and your tub could not have been any worse than mine was spray your tub and leave read a book well maybe not a whole book but a chapter sing a song do the electric slide when you come back your t your tub is going to be clean okay with very minimal effort okay so i wanted to tell you guys about that i've been looking for um the new jot notebooks, but I haven't found them yet. Not that I'm going to write, so I don't know why I'm looking for them, but I just like, you know, I like the way they look or whatever. And uh, half of those notebooks, I don't even... Look, I got a Dollar Tree notebook in my pocketbook right now that I didn't even write in. Okay, so, I mean, still in the packet, okay? So, you know, I have issues. But anyway, thanks for watching this Dollar Tree quick run, okay? Um, I'm going to take my behind home. Try not to think about work. And um, I ain't cooking today, Mr. Fuller. You're going to get, you know, takeout or something. I'm just, mentally, I'm just done. Okay? Um, the live this will be this week, guys. It's going to be a pop-up. I don't want to say when because it seems like something always comes up the last two times when I scheduled it. So I, I don't want to do that. Just be available. Okay, and if you're not available, trust me, your girl understands. I understand. We all have lives. We all have things going on. 
I understand. Okay. Thank you for watching and let me know what you're seeing at your local Dollar Trees. Um, basically this was it guys. I mean, this is it. All right. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Okay, guys, I seen a Dollar Tree haul, and they had these trinket trays. <clears throat> Smiles are always in fashion. This one says smile. Um, they have somewhat pink. This one says hello. So I guess you could put jewelry or whatever. I don't know, cosmetic, cosmetics. That one says hello. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to hold the phone. Yeah. So, I wonder what they call it. Trinket tray. And look at these signs. These are some plastic signs that they have. Wouldn't be Dollar Tree if they didn't have boxes. <clears throat> Eggs, milk, bacon. Farm to table. And these are hard plastic. This one says, make it happen. This one says, our happy place. I'm sorry, I'm anyway. Yeah. This one says, enjoy the journey. <laughs> yeah. They're hard plastic. Um, nothing else. Um... They have these candles. I mean, the packaging is great. This is called Cozy Sweater, but it's no scent whatsoever when you put it up to your nose. Mermaid Dreams. Eh, I smelled it. Wasn't really impressed by it. Pineapple Upside Down Cake. They got more, but I have a lot of them right now. Yeah, no new candles. Oh, here it is. Other than what I just showed you.